What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and welcome to another cancerous deck profile from the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Leonard. And ladies and gentlemen, I swear I always get jealous every time I see Jeff Leonard top because my dad and I have been playing Yu Gi Oh! together for years since 2007, 2008, and to the present. My dad is the OG Jeff Leonard. <laughs> he plays the same kind of decks, Burn, Chain Burn, Mystic Mind Burn, all that bullshit. So let's just dive on into this deck profile. Make sure you smash the like button because my ass is tired. I had a long day today and uh, I wanted to still get this video out for you. So this is uh, Jeff Leonard's Mystic Mind deck. It just topped uh, uh, regional this past weekend or something. Um, it's it's Mystic Mine, yeah, and it's going second. It's got some interesting text. So we're playing three copies of Lava Golem because it's Lava Golem. Three copies of Volcanic Queen and three copies of Santa Claus for the monsters. So Volcanic Queen, this was actually played in Shameburn years and years ago. Um, it's basically an OG Kaiju. Uh, it cannot be normal summoner set, and it can only be special summoned from your hand to the opponent's field by tributing a monster that they control. And if you special summon this card, you cannot normal summon or set this turn. We don't care about that. Then once per turn, you can send one other card you control to the grave to inflict a thousand damage to your opponent during your end phase either tribute one other monster or take a thousand damage we don't care about any of this because we're gonna have mystic mind on the board same goes for santa claus basically it's a kaiju and during the opponent's turn during the end phase of the turn that it's summoned the opponent can activate the effect to draw one card well if mystic mind's up they're not going to get that for the spells we're playing three copies of lightning storm one copy of feather duster three dark ruler no more one terraforming three pot of the expensive ass prosperity three left arm offering three demise of the land three field barrier three goddess skull oracle three prohibition one cauldron of the old man three mystic mind one metaverse and three psalm judgment uh let's go ahead and dump into the side deck because the extra deck is really just irrelevant we're playing three dark bribe three curse seal three duality three pathfinder and three silent wall as you can tell clearly by the side deck, this is meant to go first. So how does this particular build of Mystic Mind function with that being said? Well, you want to go second all day, every day, every hour on the hour with this particular build. And really, it makes sense, right? Like there's a couple different ways that you can build Mystic Mind in this day and age. And this is actually a really cool way to build it. Because if you focus on going second and the opponent is playing, you know, based prank kids, whatever the hell, and they just pop off and make their, you know, brave token with the Draco back and the Griffin Rider and all this other shit, and they don't know what you're playing, they're going to assume that you're playing meta. Well, then when you draw for turn and you're hitting them with Dark Rulers, Lightning Storms, or I, I guess if you want to instead evenly match, um, even though they can just land see that and then the evenly gets turned off, um, this is a really cool way to build it because you really are going to pants the opponent game one. Prohibition is great, obviously, because especially in like the Eldritch matchup, you can just prohibit El uh, God, I can't even think of the card. Eldritch, the Golden Lord, <laughs> um, Conquistador of the Golden Land, um, Draco back, the Rideable Dragon, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Like there's a lot of things that you can hit. One thing I don't agree with is number one, this deck is 43 cards. And number two, you only have one condition, one win condition rather, in the form of Cauldron of the Old Man. And I really don't know how I feel about playing a 43 card main deck with one win condition being Cauldron. And let's be honest, milling the opponent out is not really going to be an option, especially if you're taking this to a competitive event, whether it's the YCS that's literally this weekend probably going on right now by the time you see this video, or even to like a regional. Like, you're going to have assholes in the room who are going to slow play. They're going to check their grave. They're going to shuffle their hand. They're going to do just stupid shit to try and burn out the clock for as long as they can if they have higher life because they don't want to lose to mystic shit mine like that's just what's going to happen i literally had a ddd player try to slow play me and then i just kept on gaining life points off a of cauldron and the douchebag couldn't do anything i still think to this day that that dude's a douchebag and i'm not afraid to admit that <laughs> so um other than it being a 43 card main deck and other than playing just one cauldron i think that this build is really cool going second because you damn well know after you win game one going second you're going to need to side deck like crazy going first you know take out the dark rulers for the dualities take out the lightning storms for curse seals um take out the left arm offerings or even the prohibitions for dark bribes 
throw in your Wobbies and Pathfinders, take out all this other shit. Like, it's it's really a conversion side is what it is. And, I mean, it, it plays like your typical Mystic Mine. If you need a budget deck, you could just take out the Prosperities for Extraps. Yeah, these are going to be cut and punching you in the nuts for about 30 to 40 a piece. Um, but it is getting reprinted, which is nice. Um, so, that's something to consider. But overall, I mean, this deck is cool. Really, the rest of this shit in the extra deck is just Maximus targets. You know, this can pop, this can pop, this is irrelevant, this is irrelevant. Like, yeah, all, all this is irrelevant. You could play Waking the Dragons, but it's like, if you don't get it off, then it's like you'd rather just have a negate. So, yeah, this is this is Mystic Mine in 2022 pre-Albaz shit. <laughs> so, guys, please, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm not going to try and extend this video out to 10 minutes, because, I mean, it's fucking Mystic Mine. You're not reinventing the fucking wheel. You're... you're sitting with your dick in your hand and proceeding to play out a mystic mine and being the douchebag in the room that wants to get slow played. However, I will say this, if you are that asshole in the room who wants to slow play all because someone's playing mystic mine, just drop the fuck out of the event. Don't be that asshole that just slow plays because your opponent's playing this deck. Look, it's a deck that you need to prepare for. That's, that's just a fact. If you're not prepared for every possible situation or you're not playing back row hate, that's your own damn fault. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a slow player. Uh, unless you just genuinely don't know your deck, at which point you're probably just going to lose to this deck anyway. But, you know, again, it's missing mine. I get it. People don't like it. So, it is what it is. Guys, please, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Help us get to 700 subscribers. Share this video around. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Peace.